Thanks for holding today's hearing. Nuclear energy is fundamental, fundamental to meeting our energy, our environmental, and our national security objectives. The United States generates more electricity from nuclear power than any other country in the world. At the same time, we are heavily reliant on foreign sources of uranium to fuel our existing nuclear reactors. We lack the ability to fuel new advanced reactors that developers are looking to build in the next decade. That's why the Senate voted 96 to 3 to adopt the nuclear fuel security amendment that Chairman Manchin and I filed to this year's National Defense Authorization Act. It is critically important that we enact this provision into law. Russia and China are on the cusp of obtaining a commanding share of the nuclear energy market. For decades, they have undermined America's nuclear industry. They are using their position in the market to further their military and their geopolitical objectives. Russia controls half of the world's enrichment capacity. Putin uses revenue from sales and enrichment uranium to support his brutal and unprovoked war in Ukraine. China seeks to steal U.S. technology for its own gain. The world is eager to reap the benefits of nuclear power. We can't allow Russia and China to dominate this global market, and we must reestablish America as a global leader in nuclear energy. We are the global leaders in nuclear technology development. We should also be the global leaders in nuclear technology development. I'm sorry, deployment. The world is ready to buy America's superior nuclear reactors. They want to see them operating first. As of May of this year, more than 20 nuclear projects were under cons uh, consideration across North America. We have a map right here of all these under consideration. The Department of Energy is supporting several of these advanced reactor projects. This includes Terra Power's natrium reactor, which will be built in my home state of Wyoming. Now, not all of these projects are going to be successful. This was made clear to us earlier this month. And the chairman made mention of it in his opening statement when New Scale canceled its project with the Utah Associated <coughs> Municipal Power System. Last week, we learned that the Air Force rescinded a contract for the advanced reactor in Alaska. I understand the Air Force still intends to pursue an advanced reactor in the state. We must have several options in development. We also need to build more than one of any given design. America's nuclear industry has a history of building first-of-a-kind reactors. We move on to the newest design before benefiting from the cost savings garnered through repetition. Can't continue this pattern. We must successfully demonstrate first-of-a-kind advanced reactors. Then we need to deploy two, three, four more of those units. Reactor vendors need sufficient orders on their books to justify mass marketing and mass manufacturing. That's how we make nuclear more affordable. America's nuclear industry is competing against state-owned entities in Russia and China. The U.S. government has an important role to play supporting America's nuclear industry. We should make strategic investments. The federal government can serve as a customer. The Defense Department is already considering procuring a microreactor for its operations in Alaska. The Department of Energy's 17 national labs could also use advanced reactors. To be clear, Congress can't provide limitless funding or tax credits. We shouldn't enact policies that distort local electricity markets. We can, however, help to reduce the financial risk for reactor developers. I'm particularly interested in how Congress can redirect existing appropriations or programs. I want to thank the witnesses for joining us today. I look forward to their testimony. And Mr. Chairman, uh, you had mentioned the good work that you had done with uh, Member Risch, and he is now here. I just wanted to mention to him that you talked about some of the great bipartisan work that, that you and the Senator have Senator done. Senator Risch has been 